Welcome to the show and to Mansfield. This is the home of Liz Wills, without a doubt one of the best singers in Clubland today. Our Liz is a shy and retiring lass, but when she gets her war paint on, she becomes a different person. When I put on this face, uh, I become Lisa Lamour. And um, Liz Wills is very quiet and very normal. And uh, Lisa Lamour is a singer um, who goes on stage and uh, gives it her all, basically. So yeah, I am different, two different people. When I put on my makeup, I'm the other one. No more Liz Wills. Liz Elmore is here. There are lots of places I've walked in and thought, what am I doing here? But sometimes you get a nice prize. <laughs> oh no, what is he doing? Oh, Can I do my sound check now then? <laughs> I've got the speakers on, that's why. <laughs> Can I do the sound check now? There was an old woman across the room, she was on about the stripper, and she said, she so shouted, shut the door, it'll get cold. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't know if they liked him or not. I think they'd have liked him if it would have been a bit more butch. But oh, it's the belly. I can't get over that. <laughs> I can't get over the belly. Right then. I'm very, very lucky. I do what I love for a living. But at some point along the line, after 18 years of doing the clubs, sometimes you need a promotion. And for somebody like me, a singer, promotion is doing more cabaret work or something just a little bit a step up. I've got to the end of the road with clubs. I can't do it for much longer, otherwise I'm gonna go, go, go. See you later. Over at the Robin Hood Leisure Park in Skegness, the holiday season's drawing to a close. For resident singer Chris Ritchie, that means one thing. Time to start looking for another job. Just seen an open audition here at the Strand Theatre in London for the Rat Pack, which is a tribute to Frank, Sammy and Dean. I really fancy it, like, but uh, it'll all depend if... Uh, Edge your bark, you'll give me a day off. I always try, like. Eh? Hey, Alan. Come there uh, to ask a favour. What's the chances of me having a uh, bit time off? If we start with none, everything else is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I've seen this in the stairs today, right? Like a rat pack. You go for another job? Wait, it'll be after when I finish here, you know? The Rat Pack. Yeah. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin and Sammy Davis. Uh -huh. You're going for the Sammy Davis one, well, obviously. I, uh, I thought, you know... What are you doing, Frank Sinatra or Dean Martin? What I want to do is to, is to hear me, you know, and see me. This is, you know, yeah. I'm not going to try and... I'm not trying to fool myself, I'm not trying to fool anybody else. I know I don't look anything like them, but... I just want them to hear what I've got and, you know, see if I can get a bit of feedback. I don't think you'll need the night off, you know. If I, if I say you get the night off, you're just going to have the night off. But, I mean, if I say you got me back for work, then you're going to get back, because they'll, they'll finish at five. So, would you mind just sitting in with us and going through a couple of numbers with us? Tell us what you think. Yeah, yeah, no problems. Wait, you, uh, you're going to give Dave a ring? Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll then warm me bits and pieces. All right. All right, all right I'll see you in a minute. Right. Yeah, all right. Ta-ra. After last night's close encounter with the stripping fireman, he's as more determined than ever to move a rung up the showbiz ladder. I'm going to see my agent because although the, the clubs are great, it's a good living, I need to get up a step and I'd like to get some cruise work. I did ask him a while ago and, uh, you know, I'm just going to see really what 
um, what he's done about it, basically. Um, I have got all my music together now, and uh, you know, it's time, I need to get on with it now, otherwise it might not happen. It's something I really want, and if he can't give it me, then I'll have to find somebody who can. I want to get on this cruise thing, really. I know you do. You know, but you have got the eight part, haven't you? Yes. The they're all, they've all come back now. I've got a full pad of eight piece yeah. parts. So that, that was critical last time when, yeah. when you hadn't got the eight part. Yeah. Yeah. That's and fine. those nice photographs, I'm having some more of those done. Oh, yeah? You know, more expense. Yeah, I know. Mm. As regards the cruisers, you know that all acts, all cabaret acts want the cruisers. They all want this, the, the better work. I mean, you're not on your own with that. No, but I'm and I'm good. not telling you, I'm not telling you, it is easy. It means people seeing you, it means auditioning you, as, as you're well aware. But I am good I'm, enough now to do it. I, I'm sure you are. You, I know you are. And I keep repeating myself, because I wanted to get through that it isn't easy. I appreciate you well know. that. I appreciate that. You've, you've seen the other acts on sake that's been around years and years and years. Never got anywhere. All they've got is a good living out of the business. And then you've seen acts that's come along and they've just been lucky and just got there at the same time. You've got more talent than most of these have got. You're one of the best club acts there is in circuit, so we've got to turn you into a, a, a better act in a new, a new field. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, I really do. But I think yeah, before I've not wanted it bad enough, no. but I do now. You want it bad enough now? Yeah. Okay, um, well I've been in and said my piece, so hopefully there's gonna be some good work come from that. Um, I perhaps didn't drum the point at home enough, I don't know, but uh, I think Keith will do his best for me. We've got a good relationship, we always have had, so I think he'll try his best. I wish that she could um, stick to what she wants out of life, out of this career, instead of changing direction. We work for her, um, we generally get the work that she wants, but come six months down the line, she tends to change what she wants out of it. If she's doing cruise work all the time, she will get fed up and she'll be looking for something else. I think I'm determined enough to go all the way if it's possible. Hopefully it will be possible. I mean, it happened to Joe McDonald, didn't it? Over at the main Marion Club in Skegness, Chris is in a bit of a quandary. He can't make his mind up which member of the Rat Pack he should be. You never know. With the dark hair, they might think you're a bit of Dean Martin. But you could be Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra rolled into one. one big fat lump. Hi. Are you going to do Dean Martin? Do Dean Martin, go on. Date's going well, what are you talking about? Drink. Drink. Uh, uh, you've got to, it's the swagger, isn't it? It's the... It's the, it's, the, it's the swagger. <laughs> do Frank Sinatra. Yeah, we'll, we'll just stick a ladies of tramp and... You know, I mean, I've got my own stinking suspicion what's going to happen anyway, so... Oh, I have as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pleasant, but the experience will be worthwhile. No. I think we'll definitely spot you. Cool, eh? Right. Cool, I can do cool. I can do cool. Right. From the... Calm down a bit. Where right. from, Chris? Yeah, uh, I've winged and dined. Just give us the cord. Put, put one hand on your pocket. Put one hand on your I've winged and dined on mulligan stew. I never wished for turkey. I've pitched and hiked and I've drifted too. From Maine to Albuquerque. Oh, unless I love the bows, I suppose. But what is twice as bad? Do you know I feel really uncomfortable yeah, standing like that? Not too much. Still, what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you should you should have some little bits of business with the with the jacket. You know, like as if you you know wind down. You know, All right, right. You know, as if you smooth. I can do smooth. I can do smooth. Great. On your way. Uh huh. All right. Let's have a look. I'll be all right. Yeah. I'll see you when I get back. You know what it's all about. Have we do, do what I can have do. Have a yeah. oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's got rid of him. <laughs> back to work. Welcome back to the show and to the bright lights of the West End. This could be where Chris Ritchie gets his big break. He's come down from Skegness to try out for a part in a brand new musical. I'm here to audition for uh, the Rat Pack. Uh, live from Las Vegas, yeah. And I'm absolutely petrified. <laughs> it's my first time in London for about 15 years, and it's certainly my first audition 
for about 10 years. So I am absolutely beside myself at the moment. Hi. Hiya. Uh, What's your name? Yeah, it's uh, Chris Ritchie. And who are you Well, Frank Stroke uh, Ding. Yeah. Step on a listen and see what they think. <laughs> Auditioning is possibly the most soul destroying thing ever. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's really, really difficult. You know, so much. There's so much out there, so much talent, you know. I do a tribute called So Tonight, Archer, yeah. Yeah. Which is on my own, yeah. What else do you do, Jim? Um, I'm also in uh, tribute bands to Tomorrow uh, Quine, Stevie Wonder. Uh, Stevie, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, yeah. So, quite a versatile. So, it's uh, a bit of a transition. It is, yeah. yeah. Normally, I just change the hat. Yeah, oh. so it gets me, but apart from Stevie, which is a bit more difficult. Well, actually, I see the Jamiroquai in you as well. Yeah, that's what I've but got a, a face of many. Yeah. So, you must have some kind of vocal range on you then? Yeah, you? it's about three and a half octaves. Have you? Mm. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I've got three and a half. It's me with a, what, two? <laughs> Measly two. Up in Nottingham, Lisa's booked herself in for a photo session. You never know. A change of image might impress the bosses at the cruise companies. Well, I'm a singer, okay, uh, and I want um, some nice shots for cabaret work. Not so much for club work. I don't, have you ever done any singers before? I have, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so it's not so much uh, the clubby aspect. I want more, a little bit more classy. Oh wow! <laughs> Very stylish and light fit so far. What you get to do is just lean on here like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look over your shoulder. Just look very sexy. <laughs> that's really nice. Oh, there you go. You see? Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, is that me? <laughs> I think your photograph's very important particularly when you're sending them cold to cruise companies. I think they know what they're looking for, and if you're what they're looking for, then they'll open the envelope and go, wow. There they go. Let's uh, just hope they like what they see. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Back at the auditions, Chris is up next, and no wonder he looks nervous. He's got some tough competition. Something in your eyes was so exciting Hi, I'm fine, fine, thanks. Hello, uh, what are you going to sing for us? Uh, Ladies of Trump. Oh, good, thank you. I get too hungry for dinner at eight. I love the theatre, but I never come late. I never bother with people I hate. And that's why the lady is a tramp. Well, I don't like crap games with barons and earls. Won't go to Harlow in ermine and pearls. Won't dish the dirt with the rest of the girls. And that's why they call the girl a tramp. That's very, very difficult to judge. Um, I had a few of the guys who went before me, and, and I, I hung around and sort of like listen to a few others and there's some real look-alike and sound like people down there and and I was quite honest with myself when I came along here I don't look like anyone and the only person I sound like is me in terms of his ability as performer he certainly has a very strong voice and, a, and you know a, a nice mm. largeness and masculinity mm. about himself mm. it's just not the right focus for, for what we need mm. that's all it wasn't as bad as what I was expecting I'm very much there, I've got a part, but uh, good experience. At uh, least I've seen a little bit of London while I've been here, but, uh, but now I must uh, hot tail it back to Skegness on the Maid Marion. Hiya! 
From the glamour of a photo shoot to the glamour of Oaknall Liberal Club. It's back to work for Lisa, just tonight's star turn. I'd better shut up, the bingo's on. 84. Both the ones, number 11. I will tell you about bingo. You are not allowed to speak while the bingo's on. And if you do, you'll be told to shut up. And if you don't, you'll be chucked out. Open up! If the Queen herself came in, she would have to shut up while the bingo was on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Entertainment time. We've got a very good artist tonight. Every time she's been here, it's always gone down well. So I'd like you to welcome on stage once more the lovely Lisa Louise. Thank you. This is Top Showbiz manager Tony Sherwood. Lisa's agent has asked him over to give her a few tips on how to hit the big time. She wants something out of the ordinary. She wants to get away from the three spots. Does she in really, around. really want cruise work? And what's more, do you really want cruise work? Uh, she is desperate for cruise work. But is she desperate enough to do the kind of cruise work that you and I both know exists, where she's cannon fodder and she's doing other jobs other than the quality enter cabaret entertainment? She's not. She's not that right. desperate. Because she's she because not. she's too good for that. Yeah. If a client came along and said, hey, I love the act, I love the dress, I love the songs, but I don't like the name, and if you're going to do my job, you're going to have to change the name, would you? No. Okay. Lisa Lamore is Lisa Lamore. All right. and, and that's not me saying it, that is Lisa Lamore saying it. Would you ever consider changing your name from Lisa Lamore? Oh, yeah. Well, that's totally well, throwing me. Yeah. That's totally throwing me, because um, I said... If, if, if I was moving on... You know, everybody knows me in the clubs as Lisa well, Lamore, but in, I'm a relative newcomer as regards cruises. Right. Yeah. So if that's what it takes to get on. But it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's terribly show busy. Well, what it does have to say is it must reflect class. The name that she has, Lamore, is not a good name uh, for the type of work that she wants to get into. And I was surprised that she took that so well. And I know he was very surprised. I thought Tony made some good points. The name thing I'm not totally sure about. I would do it if I thought it would... Um, help me, but as I'm so established, it might not help me. So I'd have to think very carefully about that. The show's over for Chris in the West End, but it's about to start again in Skegness, and he's determined to look on the bright side. It's actually made me feel a lot more confident about auditioning, and uh, I will be eagerly thumbing through the stage next week, and uh, and see what that brings us. But it certainly has not put us off in anything. It's it's made us more determined. But tonight is another night. So she'll have the diggy on, get the chat on, and get out there and give Skegness a good night out. The power of the music of the night. I've really enjoyed being the Maid Marian this summer. I've learned a great deal from it. And I feel when I've learned the Maid Marian, I can take forward with me. Uh, who knows, one day, the right audition, the right time, it, it might just fall into place for me. All good things come to those who wait.
I love her. Very good singer. She's fantastic. The voice is fantastic. And I know what I'm talking about because you used to go out there, you know, and play about a bit. But I could never have done what she was doing. What a booming singer. Oh my good night. I mean, whew. And she's got everything, hasn't she? I mean, let's face it the hair, the figure, everything, and the moves. And the moves. Jane McDonald managed to get on a cruise, right? Lisa Lamore should get on a cruise, right? She'll make it. I know she will. She sings the songs that we like, you know, in, in the 60s, especially that one. What was it? Thank you very much, Lisa. Oh, been a it's wonderful been evening, love. Thank a wonderful evening. Mm, lovely. Do call again, dear. Bye. I'd like to think I would be a star one day. How realistic that is, I don't know. But I'm determined to get on the cruise ships. And you never know where that might take you. Next time on The Performers, Bye. Lisa gets the call she's been waiting for. Oh, got an audition for a cruise. Oh! We get heavy with the Prince of Darkness. People think I'm insane because I am frowning all the time. And Elvis is alive and well in Dudley.